Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is x square minus y square is equal to 1, x square plus xy is equal to 2. To find the values of x and y from these two systems of equations. Now, in the first step, this will let this as equation 1 and this will let as equation 2. Then, from equation 1, which is this x square minus y square is equal to 1. In here, in the left side, x square minus y square, this is in the form of a perfect square. So, this is same as x plus y bracket bracket x minus y bracket is equal to this 1. Then, this equation, we let this as equation 3. Then, in the next step, from equation 2 so from equation 2 which is this x square plus xy is equal to 2 in here x is common so we'll take x out of bracket x squared divided by x is x plus xy divided by x is y bracket is equal to this 2 then this will let us equation 4 then in the next step, we'll take equation 3 divided by equation 4. Now, from the equation 3, in the left side, which is this x plus y bracket bracket x minus y bracket, then divide to be over equation 4. In the left side, it is this x bracket x plus y bracket is equal to in the right side equation 3 it is 1 then divide by in the right side equation 4 it is 2 then to simplify this x plus y will cancel with this x plus y so it will be this over this which is x minus y over x is equal to 1 over 2 then we'll cross multiply so it will be x times 1 is x is equal to 2 times x minus y. So it will be 2 bracket x minus y bracket. Then it will be x is equal to 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative y is negative 2y. Then from here, we'll take this negative 2y into this side. So it will be positive 2y is equal to x we take into this side. So it will be. 2x minus x then in here it will be 2x minus x is x is equal to this 2y then this will let this as equation 5 then in the next step we substitute equation 5 into equation 1 Whereas equation 1, it is this first equation, x square minus y square is equal to 1. So, from x square minus y square is equal to 1, we substitute equation 5, which x is equal to 2y. So, here 2y, it will be 2y bracket this square minus this y square is equal to 1. Then, the square... 2 square is 4, then times this y square, then minus this y square is equal to this 1. Then 4y square minus y square is 3y square is equal to 1. Then from here, we divide by 3 in both sides. So this and this will cancel. Then in here to be y square is equal to 1 over 3. So from y square is equal to 1 over 3 then we apply square root in both sides so this square root will cancel square then it will be y is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is 1 over this square root of 3 then we should the denominator here by multiplying in the denominator square root of 3 and in the numerator square root of 3 
so it will be y is equal to plus or minus 1 times square root of 3 is square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. Then from here we have two solutions for the values of y because of plus or minus. Whereas the first value of y is equal to when it is positive to be square root of 3 over 3. And the second value of y is equal to this negative negative square root of 3 over 3. Then to find the values of x from these values of y, we recall the fifth equation which is x is equal to 2y. So from x is equal to 2y, in here we substitute the value of y which is this. So it will be x1 is equal to 2 times y1 which is this square root of 3 over 3. Then to be x1 is equal to 2 times square root of 3 over 3. And also in here, x is equal to 2y. Then we substitute the value of y, which is y2, this negative square root of 3 over 3. So to be x2 is equal to 2 times this negative square root of 3 over 3. Then it will be x2 is equal to this time this, it will be negative 2 square root of 3 over 3. So, for our conclusion, the first x1, comma y1 bracket is equal to, the value of x1 is this, so it will be 2 square root of 3 over 3, comma, the value of y1 is this, square root of 3 over 3 square root of 3 over 3 bracket and the other solution for x2 comma y2 it will be equal to the value of x2 is this negative so it will be negative 2 square root of 3 over 3 bracket comma y2 is this negative square root of 3 over 3 so negative square root of 3 over 3. So these are the two solutions of x comma y in this our problem. Now to check if these our answers are correct, let's check for only one solution for this x comma y for this first answers. Now back to recall from this uh, our answer x is 2 comma square 2 square root of 3 over 3 comma y is square root of 3 over 3. We substitute these answers into our problem. Now, from this first equation, we'll use this first equation, whereas x, x is equal to 2 square root of 3 over 3 and y, this x1, y1 is equal to square root of 3 over 3. So, we substitute this answer for x into here. So it will be 2 square root of 3 over 3, then bracket this square, minus y square, y is this. So square root of 3 over 3, then bracket square, is it equal to this 1? Then the square, the square of 2 is 4 times square root of Square times square root of 3, this square root will cancel square, so it will be 3. So times 3 over 3 square, it is 9. Then minus square root of 3 square, square root will cancel square, so it will be 3 over 3 square, it is 9. Is it equal to this 1? Then in here, the denominator is, the LCM is 9, so it will be over 9. 9 divided by 9 is 1, then it will be 4 times 3 is 12, minus this is 1 times 3 is 3, is it equal to 1? Then it will be this minus this is 9 over 9 is equal to 1, because this over this is 1 is equal to 1. Now left side and right side are equal, so it is true for this first solution of x, comma y. So if this first solution is correct, also, the second solution is also correct. Thank you for watching. 
don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye